the good life. Full of fun. Hey guys, look at my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. We're gonna make a great recipe. It's fun, it's easy, it's fast, it's delicious. And I'm gonna take what a lot of times you'll hear out there that's that's good, and I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna kick it up a notch, cook it in Italian with Joe style. So what we're gonna make, as you guys know from a header, we're gonna make cauliflower mashed potatoes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cauliflower and we're gonna roast it along with all the other ingredients. So it's gonna add that, uh, almost that caramelization, that roasted flavor, along with some other really key ingredients that's gonna make this an absolute delicious dish. All right, so let's get going on ingredients. What do you guys say? So first, the big kahuna, the main stage, we've got a cauliflower. This thing's so fresh, it's falling all over the place here. So, so I got a cauliflower, big head of cauliflower. That's essentially what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna prep it. Our next ingredient, we're gonna take a trip to Italy. What do you guys say? We're gonna get some mascarpone cheese. Now, mm, the mascarpone cheese is gonna add uh, some creaminess. It's certainly gonna change the texture. It's gonna add just a little bit of that cheesy flavor, almost like a little bit of a backdrop of a tang, and that's really important. If you don't have uh, mascarpone cheese, you can certainly use cream cheese as a substitute. So we've got three tablespoons of mascarpone cheese, okay? And then second, we're going to take another trip to Italy. This is getting fun, isn't it? And we're going to put some Parmesan cheese in there. Now, I, I prefer to use a Parmigiano Reggiano. That's the real stuff. That's a really good, high quality. Oh, I mean, that's worth it. It's got a, it's got a deeper flavor, a deeper texture. It's certainly a more complex flavor, so it's worth it. We've got a half of a cup grated Parmesan Reggiano, okay? So if you can get it, grab it. Now we're gonna add some stock to it. I've got three tablespoons of chicken stock. Now if you're going for a vegetarian style, just substitute uh, vegetable stock, that'll be perfect. I've got some arugula that I'm gonna use as a, uh, as a finish, as a garnish on top, so it's gonna look beautiful. I got three tablespoons of butter. Now if you can get the unsalted butter, that's great, uh, and I was like a higher butter fat content. If you can't get that, then certainly taste it before you add any salt, just to make sure that your, you know, your flavor is perfect, okay? I've got some nutmeg. Oh, I tell you, that is the best flavor you could ever add to anything Italian. Certainly Southern Italy uh, and Northern Italy, they're gonna add nutmeg uh, anytime you're using cream or cheese or what have you, and that adds just that nice flavor. We're gonna put an eighth of a teaspoon. It's like a breath of nutmeg, so it's not something you actually will even taste, uh, but it certainly adds that backdrop. Next, I'm gonna add a quarter of an onion. Now, I, what I've got here is a golden onion, okay? And uh, you can use the white onion. Golden onion's a little bit sweeter, and it's got a little extra kick to it, so it's fantastic. So I cut up a quarter. Now here, I've got a clove of garlic. We're not gonna use the whole clove. I didn't know how much garlic to use because I didn't know what mood I was in today. So I might go a little bit heavier on the garlic. Traditionally, I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic. Might be a little naughty today and add three. I don't know, we'll see how it's going, but I would certainly bet that way, okay? We're gonna definitely need some salt and pepper. I always use a either a gray French sea salt. It's brinier, it's a little bit saltier. I really like that. Or I use the pink Himalayan, why? A, because it's sexy. I don't know why I love saying that. But secondly, it's, uh, it's briny, but it's also a little bit more earthy. Real healthy salt filled with a lot of minerals, so certainly something to check out. Fresh ground pepper, only way to go if you can grab it. And then last but not least, we're always gonna use our olive oil. I recommend using the best olive oil in the world. You're probably wondering what it is and where you can get it. You can get it right online. You can get it on our Facebook or our Cooking Italian with Joe website. It's obviously Video and Joe's. And for some of you guys maybe already know this, I own a farm in Italy. It's in Puglia, Italy. It's just up above the hill. And we co-op with some farms that bring in literally the best olive oil in the world. It's, uh, it's grassy, earthy, it's peppery, absolutely delicious. I named the company after my two boys, Vito and Joe. There's a little history of the farm right on the back. Drop ship it right to your house. I call it a trip to Italy right in the Absolutely fantastic. So we're certainly gonna use some olive oil when we prep everything and we roast it. First thing we want to do is prep this cauliflower, just get it ready to go. Before you do that, I've got the oven going and I've got it on a high bake, okay? I've got it at 440 degrees, 450 would be great. So crank that guy up because you're gonna roast everything, okay? In regards to our cauliflower, essentially you just want to clean it up, get rid of this and cut it in equal size pieces. Again, because we want to roast it, we want it all to cook evenly. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut this right down the middle. 
that's the easiest way. And then what you're going to see here, you're going to see that heart, right, of the cauliflower. And then you're going to want to get rid of some of this, the more of the green on the stem. Do the same thing with the other side. Now the cauliflower is ready to be cut. So just grab yourself a nice big bowl, big enough that you can put everything in it. We're going to put all of our pieces, cauliflower, garlic, onion, and such. We're going to put it right in this bowl, okay? So I'm going to go ahead now and start cutting up the cauliflower. And we're looking for, again, just essentially equal size pieces. Don't worry about it too much because we're going to mulch all this up. We're going to grind it right up in the food processor anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this in the bowl. Do the same with the second side. Cauliflower is all set in the bowl. Now I want to get my onion going. So in the onion, again, you don't need to cut it up too small, but you definitely want to make sure everything cooks at the same time. So I'm going to cut it up, that quarter of onion, and then I'm going to cut it up again in about an eighth. Same thing, guys. I'm going to just take this I want to break it apart and then throw it right in your bowl. Now with our garlic, traditionally I'd throw two cloves in there, but we're going to get a little crazy here. We're going to go three, okay? So I got three cloves of garlic. We're going to clean this right up. My attitude on garlic is, you know, if you get something that don't like garlic, what are you hanging out with somebody who doesn't like garlic for anyways? Why are you friends with somebody who doesn't like garlic? That's what I'm thinking, you know what I mean? So my thinking is, hey, you add as much garlic as you want. So grab your head of garlic. Give it a good smack with your knife, and then peel and open her up. Beautiful, isn't that precious? And then finishing the garlic right here, just cut it in kind of smaller pieces, something like that. We're gonna, we're gonna roast everything, so not to worry about making it too small here. We don't want it to burn. And then we're gonna throw that right in our bowl. Oh, love the small garlic. All right, so we've got our onions, our cauliflower, and our garlic, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some salt. So I'm gonna use my pink Himalayan, because it's sexy, we already talked about that. All right, and we're gonna put some, we're gonna put about a half of a teaspoon of salt right in there, and we're gonna put a good half of a teaspoon or more of freshly ground pepper. And last but not least, we're gonna throw some of Vito and Joe's, obviously the greatest olive oil in the world. We're gonna throw some of that right in our bowl here. And we're gonna put in a good, probably third of a cup or more. And then really gently, just grab yourself a nice spatula here and tilt the bowl away from you so you don't get it all over you. And then you're going to stir it all up. We want to get the salt, the pepper, and olive oil. We want everything to be covered. Now, a couple of tips to make this come out perfect. One, I've got everything about equal size, okay? And I've oiled, salt, and peppered. Everything's spread out nice and evenly. Secondly, I'm going to grab a roasting pan, like a cookie sheet. Do yourself a favor. Put some parchment on it makes cleanup really easy and then we can literally take the parchment and we can dump it right in to whatever we're doing so it doesn't make a mess. Third, what makes this come out awesome is if you subscribe to our channel. <laughs> you like that transition? So there's a little red button right down here in the left hand corner. When you click that, what it does is any new trips, any new recipes, new videos, it'll come right in your notification box so you'll know exactly what's going on, what's happening. And I'll tell you, when you become a subscriber, it certainly means a lot to me. You know what I mean? Hey, makes you part of the Italian family. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spread all this right over that parchment paper. And I'm gonna just spread everything on here as much as I can. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And guys, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna get this right in the oven. I've got my food processors. You can use a food processor or a blender or a mixer. All of those will work okay. Food processor to me is the best way to go. And I'm gonna throw this in the oven and we're gonna leave it in probably a good 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. And I'm looking for brown and caramelization on the outside. Don't forget Cook's best friend, our timer. We're gonna set there for 20. Talk to you guys in 20 minutes. All right guys, it's been 25 minutes. Want to see something beautiful? One, this smells fantastic, but two, you see everything's nice and soft, right? And you see everything's got that brown caramelization on there. My garlic's roasted, my onion's roasted, see that? So I'm gonna pull everything away from the side. All right, we're ready to go. So I've got my cauliflower. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna grab it just like this, isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna grab it just like that and I'm gonna put it right inside my food processor. Oh, look at that, is that, I mean, that's magical, isn't that perfect? So while this is hot, I wanna start adding everything else. I also wanna make sure I go online and grab yourself a bottle of olive oil, don't forget that. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and let's get everything in here, let's start mixing, let's make some cauliflower mashed potatoes. See, I'm gonna add my little bit of nutmeg. I'm gonna add my three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add my three tablespoons of chicken stock. I'm gonna add my mascarpone cheese, and I'm gonna add my Parmigiano Reggiano. Now I'm gonna hit a pulse on there, so you can see that. How good does that look? All right guys, time to serve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this in the 
in the bowl. Oh, that smells good. So I'm gonna take some, some of my Parmigiano Reggiano, right? I'm just gonna hit a little bit on top, just to finish it off, give you some flavor. And that'll melt right inside. I'm gonna take a little pinch of that arugula just to give it a little finish on top. All right, it's eating time. I swear to you, I swear I have not touched a taste of this. I swear to you, okay? And it's been tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in my bowl. Oh, that's good. How good's that look, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. I'll tell you, the first thing that strikes me is there's like a, that roasted flavor, and then the garlic, the butter, the onion, and then that cauliflower backdrop. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so good. It's so rich. You got the cauliflower, the cheese comes at you, and the mascarpone just gives it that body, you know, it's just that beautiful creaminess, that flavor. And the roasted garlic and the roasted onions. You know, guys, it's so rich, and yet, you know, it's got that rustic feel. Man, that is good. I'm thinking a nice white wine, maybe a Riesling or something with a little, like a Prosecco. Guys, thanks for joining me on such a great recipe. Don't forget, grab yourself a bottle of olive oil, Vito and Joe's, right on our website, Cooking in Town with Joe, or right on our Facebook. Truly a trip to Italy right in a bottle. Subscribe to our channel. I'd like to make a part of the family. It certainly means a lot to me. And guys, turn off the electronics, the TV, the cell phones. Put them in a basket. Sit down with your kids. Make a mess. Tell stories. Have some fun. Celebrate your heritage. And set some traditions to last a lifetime. I know they certainly did in our house. Guys, thanks so much. Talk to you next week. Mwah. Buon appetito. Good life. Full of fun. See